Welcome to the lesson on Big Data Distributions. In this lesson, we are going to talk about Big Data Distribution companies like Cloudera, Hortonworks and so on and so forth. You may have heard about these companies and sometimes wondered why there are so many of these companies when we have Hadoop as an open source software available through Apache. We are going to answer that question in this session. What are the common services they provide or how did these companies first of all got started? Then we understand the key differentiating factors and how these companies compete with each other by providing several different features or competing differentiating factors. Pick your flavors. We are showing all these candies for a certain reason. The common ingredient with all these candies is sugar. You may have different colors, different flavors added on top of it, but the key ingredient is sugar. Same applies in the big data principles. When a company decides about using big data, one of the main questions they have to answer whether they are going to use big data on a Apache's Hadoop foundation where all these softwares are ecosystem components which they have to install set up by themselves. Or they can go to one of the distributors like Cloudera and get a prepackaged solution where all these components can be installed much easily. Cloudera was one of the first companies to do this and several other companies followed the suit like MapR, Amazon Elastic MapReduce provided similar offering on the cloud, Hortonworks, IBM, Pivotal, Microsoft and so on and so forth. These companies are called as distributors. The reason they are called distributors because they are merely distributing the software which was created by Apache in the Hadoop Foundation. So the key takeaway for this slide is understanding that the mother of all of these distributors is Apache's Hadoop and 70 to 80 percent of all of these distributions are very similar with certain companies taking a different approach and enhancing and changing but more or less they are similar. Hence I would encourage you to be not be afraid of different distributions like if you know Cloudera you will be pretty much able to work on other different distribution with some amount of learning or changes. So let's understand the common services these companies provide or for that matter why these companies were created in the first place. So we'll talk about three things. Packaging. When a company tries to install a setup Hadoop cluster, it has to install all these different components needed like Hive, Pig and so on and so forth by themselves which could be quite challenging. So one of the common services these distributor companies provide is to provide a single interface or mechanism to be able to install all these different components. Also they provide compatibility, they have tested and validated different versions of this software so that they are compatible. But one of the main reason why these companies exist is the support. When Hadoop came into the industry it became very popular but many of these enterprise companies were hesitant to get onto the Hadoop and big data bandwagon for primarily the reason or lack of support provided by the open source community. So companies like Hortonworks, Cloudera and several of these distributor companies have come forward to fill in that gap. They provide support as a service and that is one of the main revenue streams for these companies. This is a welcome change for the enterprises and that's why more and more companies are getting into the big data space. Finally the companies also provide training facility. So how do these companies differentiate and be competitive among each other? So let's try to compare four of these main distributors. First, Hortonworks. Hortonworks has taken a complete open source approach. Their employees literally develop softwares for the open source like Ambari and it is developed and enhanced by Hortonworks employees. Cloudera is the oldest company and it has taken a semi-proprietary approach by developing some of the tools themselves like Cloudera Manager, Impala and so on and so forth. 
eventually these tools were open source but initially started by being proprietary. So the approach of Cloudera I would call is semi-proprietary. Mapper for that matter has completely taken other approach of being proprietary by developing components like Mapper file systems instead of HDFS. The other key feature which Mapper provides is high availability. This is very critical for implementations of huge clusters and large enterprises. Finally in our list is the cloud-based offering by Amazon called as Elastic MapReduce. Amazon is a leader in the cloud computing space and the, one of the services which they added and became most popular is big data services called as Elastic MapReduce services. So if a company is looking for implementing big data on the cloud, Amazon could be one of the great offerings. It helps also to have better integration to other AWS services. This concludes our session on the big data distributions. In this lesson, we learned about different distribution companies, why do they exist, and what are the differentiating factors they provide to compete with each other.